Hi, it's Sam from the Math Easy Solution. We're going to discuss uh, further into Microsoft Excel and look at automated formulas in Microsoft Excel using the indirect method right here and direct function, which I've uh, yeah, actually figured out a while ago and it saved a lot of time for some work I'm doing for school. And also, I'm going to do over go over a very useful animated formula method. So what I mean by this, uh, first I have these three uh, sheets right here. This is data table one, table two. And uh, so basically in this table one here, this sheet I have an X and a Y and a Y column. And this is basically a table filled with values as random numbers right here. And the Y values is, is, is a sign, sign function for this. It doesn't, doesn't matter what they are, just to illustrate the point. And then table two is a, just a different function. This is a squared function. I mean, um, this is a power function here. So this these ones to the power of two, etc. So you have Y values here does, and then Y values here for this one. So now let's say you want to take an average of those values. So you could do the uh, general, the original method where you could just highlight. You could just click average and highlight it, as or I'll just go over this one. So you can just go average, and then select this table one and highlight this, and then close bracket, enter. So you could have th this way that the same thing for the table two, but now this indirect method basically. What it does, like I'll go over uh, right here actually, let's just click this one first, click indirect, this one right here, okay, so all, all, all you have to input actually is just a reference text, so all you, this one takes text, and you could use text to create a formula and to, or to refer to a cell. Uh, and you can't do this uh, without this method right here. And then the, the second, you could do a second um, input by putting a comma, this is just uh, this, this is if you want to change from A1 to R1, C1 style uh, referencing. Uh, I'll, I'll do another video on this, but you don't need to include anything for this one. This just A1 just means you're using this this reference, which is default on my Microsoft Excel. Basically A12, and then R1, C1 is basically numbers on both sides and on the column and rows. So we'll ignore that. So basically just look at that reference stack. So what I mean by this is, so right here, I have this the exact same, yeah, yeah, this is the exact same formula as this one. If I just make this, uh, yeah, point zero to just increase the decimal place. So this is an average, basically, of table one of y values, and this average table two is the exact same values as these, except now I'm using indirect. So I have the average and then indirect of this text value right here. This is I I just copied and pasted this text value, this one out of this one. So we have the average, and then this is table one. This is a convention for uh, referencing cells. And now I, I made a text version of it right here. And then basically this, you could just go, I'll, I'll just do it right now. So average, you could go, now you can go indirect. So you could use, just click on this button or below. So right here, B7. And yeah, this adds another uh, bracket. Okay, so basically, yeah, this exact same thing as that one. Here. And similarly for this, I, I'll put this one for the table two, and uh, there's another thing I want to point out. If you look at uh, this one here, when I when I highlight this one, there's, there's a little uh, apostrophe sign on both sides. It's because there is a space between this sheet name. So I purposely made this table one have no space. This table one, this table two, ha I mean this table two sheet have a space. So if there is a space in the sheet name, you need to include these little apostrophes. And this one, as you can see, there is none. And that's why I have it right here. And also, if you were to uh, put this together, like if you were just to put one of them in this table, as you can see, this doesn't match up because it doesn't show up here. Because because I, like I made a note right here, quotation marks uh, use. Oh no, no, the apostrophe at the start of a cell indicates it's a text cell, so you need to include a in a, a second apostrophe. So you have to put a second one right here to include that apostrophe because for example if you go equals two that's an equals two but if you put an apostrophe before it as you can see it's text now it's not an actual number so just delete that one right there so so now uh, the usefulness of this is uh, well I have it in this one here this is the exact same value here but now I'm actually looking at this table so you could actually make it formulate it so all you, all you can do is put this table number let's say you had another table table three etc and instead of actually going in manually and then searching up uh the, the values you want to average you could directly just do this one right here 
I'll just uh, yeah, basically I'm just using this table one name right here or I'll, I'll just delete this and go over it uh, slowly so you can go average and then bracket this is gonna be indirect so you need the text value so bracket then you can put a text value which is table one so I'll just write this exact same formula but using this method right here because remember you could change it now so you go click table one and now this one we're gonna go yeah yeah so we have table one right there so now we have to match this so we have to add this uh, this uh, colon, I mean this explanation point. So what you could do that is by putting the and symbol. This is to add a second input, and that's going to be this one right here. And this is going to be in text form. Remember, this only takes text. So you do this. That's going to be a text. And then C. Yeah. So we go C four colon C eleven. So we we can go enter now. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, I forgot the end quotation marks. So you put quotation marks to reference uh, to make it a text when you're typing in. So there, there you go. So this is the exact same one there. This one is the same thing, but for this table. And as you can see from this one here, you could uh, I'll just change this one. So instead of changing that, because yeah. So the the difference between this one and this, we need to include these, and it's gonna be a reference to this table, but include that extra apostrophe. And to do that, well, we could just go this again, average indirect and then bracket so now we can click well we need a we need this first so this one doesn't have it so we need this uh, apostrophe so we go this uh, quotation mark put one of these apostrophe quotation mark so that's a text it looks like all apostrophes but there's a apostrophe there's gonna be a quotation mark apostrophe and then quotation mark and then go put an and sign again and then put this table and sign again now we put uh, quotation mark apostrophe and now we put the, the colon C 4 C 11 and quotation mark and then bracket bracket and close so 19.5 so it's always the exact same thing right here so now you could uh, you could see it now that basically now if we could change these etc if we had let's go with yeah actually I just I just quickly made another table three sheet so this table three sheet there's no spaces to illustrate it uh, better so now that we have table three I just change this name Table three. Now we have just a random uh, x y column or table, and, and the cells are the same. And basically, I just had one, two, three, up to eight counting up. So now, if we want to get the average of it, well, we could just look at directly this one, and or, or just copy this. Let's just just type actually right here table uh, three. Yeah. So I've put table three in here now. This automated part comes here. We could just copy this, and I'll go paste this. So as you can see, 4.5. That is actually the average of this. And this is, if we click, if we scroll down here, average. Uh, actually, this is rounded up, but it is 4.5. So that was a uh, five. So basically, this is the average of one, two, three, all the way to eight. Yeah, and as you can see, we didn't even have to put any of this. We didn't have to go into it manually and and s highlight that cell because we have this automated table. And because when you copy it here, it automatically moves to this side here. So this is a relative uh, index, or yeah, relative referencing right here. And now with this, I've actually found uh, a pretty useful method. It's actually saved me many hours in my well, my master's program right now that I'm doing in engineering, engineering school basically. So what we could do right now, let's say we don't want to average the whole thing. Let's just say we want to average, let's say these two here, right here. And instead of physically going into here and then going basically like what I mean, like deleting this, going into this and, and then highlighting this in the average. So that's one way to do it, which is the manual one. I'll just undo that. What we could do now is actually include these input, the initial row and final rows. And then basically using this reference right here. So these initial rows could be like, for example, for this one, this is six and seven. So we could just go six and seven, and this one automatically calculates this. Remember, this was going to be yeah negative point zero three eight. That's that's what it is. So these ones are automatically changing because I've used the indirect function. And basically, as you can see from this, I've used it to include these as text for the actual row here. These, because remember, this four and eleven are rows. Uh, so let's just delete this and go right uh, slowly for you. So you can click average indirect. So now we could just write it exactly how uh, this looks like. So you could just go table table one colon. Actually, this is going to be a uh, put this quotation mark because uh, a quotation mark like that, and then put the explanation mark. Put a C right here. End this. Close this quotation mark 
put an and sign and now we can instead of this four we're gonna have the six now because that's what this one here instead of actually putting the four which is stationary so put that in and then we are gonna close the or just put a new end so we have a new thing and now it's gonna be a colon or put a quotation mark colon C now you can also automate the column in this case it would just C or just automate you can do a lot of stuff with it. this is pretty useful so close this put another sign and and then the final row. So this is instead of 11, we're, now we're seven. And now, well, that's gonna be dynamic. So now we can close this and then we have this. So we have this one, same thing for this, but this one never you have to include the uh, apostrophe, the two apostrophes for this table uh, with a space, table two with a space sheet. So as you can see, we have this one here. And if we want to get this exact same one, we can just go click 4 and 11. So as you can see, these are the exact same thing. I have these both referencing to this. So this is a really, really fast way to do it. So now instead of said, now let's go from the fifth row to the tenth row. This is 5, 10. Just click here. And then go 5, 10. So basically, there you go. There's the averages of 5, 10. So yeah, this is really, really quick. And now, well, that's all for today. I'm just going to actually go over the important notes first. That I went over here when referencing sheet names, there's a space in a name to include apostrophes like this uh, bracket uh, name. Actually, this is um, just, uh, just add uh, space right here. Name one. So if there's a space, you need to put in this whenever you're using referencing uh, in in sheet. Uh, yeah, whenever you're referencing for in formulas. And then the apostrophe at the start of a cell indicates the text cell. So you need to include a second apostrophe if for this one here, if you want an apostrophe to be shown. And then you also use the and sign to separate inputs and formulas and quotation marks. I think this is how you spell it. Quotations. Or oh, that's how you spell it. Quotation marks use denote text in the formulas, etc. This quotation name. So that's gonna be a text one. Like like these ones right here. So there's a there's a quotation mark. Well it's all for today. You can actually download this exact uh, Excel file in the in the video description below. And yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution